with an eight dog team and we were going to dog sled across Arctic America to the east side of Canada. Well, I just didn't get up one day and say, well, I guess I'm going to dog sled across Arctic America. <laughs> <laughs> I had actually spent about 10 years in Alaska and I had learned how to dog sled, how to take care of my dogs and gone on a lot of expeditions to gain experience. So when we left Bear, Alaska on February 14th, 1993, I believe that my eight dogs and I were ready to go. Now the way it works in dog sledding is you, you have a team of dogs, in this case I had eight, and you put a harness on them, and on the end of the harness there's a line, and the line goes back to the front of the sled, and the musher stands on the back of the sled, and you tell those dogs what to do. So you don't have any leash or rein, you just use your voice to control the dogs. Well, of course, it's kind of tricky to figure out how to make eight dogs do the same thing at the same time. So you have what's called a lead dog, and that's kind of you know the head dog, the number one lead dog. My dog was a dog named Douglas, and I called him Dougie Dog. And Dougie Dog was a big old 75-pound floppy-eared guy, and and he was just happy-go-lucky. He'd do anything I asked him to do. 